So we have this example where we have to sort this array. And the first step for the radius sort is to determine the largest element within the array. So we determine the largest element, which is 802, and we find the number of digits in this element, which is equal to 3. So algorithm will have 3 passes. And for this, we have to determine the buckets and their sizes. So in case of integers, we have numbers ranging from 0 to 9. In case of alphabets, we have numbers ranging from 0 to 25 or from A to Z. So for integers, we will have buckets size 10 and for alphabets or strings data we will have 26. So the first step, so that is the base, the buckets are the base for Redix sort algorithm. Now we look for the integers at the least significant digits where first we place and make these digits to have same number of digits so that we can compare them. Now look at the number at the least significant digit. So which bucket should we place this in? We will place this in the fifth bucket. Then comes 001. It will be placed in the first bucket. 321, first bucket. 010, zero, zero, 0th bucket. 802, and this, and then 002. And we complete it. And then we have to take for the first pass we have to take this from out of this bucket and in doing so what we are going to do is we're going to remove them one by one starting from the first bucket iteratively. So the outcome is 0, 010, 0, 0, 9, 0, 321, then we have 001, 802, 002, 12 and 3, 123, 15 and 109. So the outcome of the first pass is this. In the next pass, what we are going to do is, we are going to go for the second digit place. The next digit in we are going to consider is next to the least significant digit, moving towards the most significant digit. So now this is the updated list and we have to place them according to the second digits now now look at the second digits and place them uh, place these into the buckets so for one this data goes into the first bucket for nine the data goes into the last bucket then we have zero zero one then we have three twenty one 0, 0, 0, once again we have 0, 0, 1. Oh, okay, okay, okay. For it, it is written two times. So then we have 8, 0, 2. It again goes here. 0, 0, 2. Then we have 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 5. 
109 and then we are done so the updated list for this second pass is 001 802 002 101 001 001 001 001 001 001 001 001 001 001 001 001 001 001 001 001 001 001 third digit and place them in the buckets relevant buckets and then we are going to remove them from the buckets starting from the first bucket so considering this it goes here Zero one five three two one one two five and why do I write again again one zero nine zero nine zero zero nine zero here. Okay, you can check when you're doing it. Make sure it is correct. Now we remove these from the buckets, starting from the first bucket. So the output is the sorted array finally is Zero nine zero. One two five three two one, and then we have eight zero two. So now, or in the third pass, our data is finally sorted. So in the first part, what you're doing is essentially you are placing these into the buckets these digits into the buckets depending on the least significant digit and in the second pass you are placing them considering the second second digit and in the third pass you're going to place them considering your last digit most significant digit so the resultant will be a sorted list. <clears throat> the same goes for alphabetical data. So here we have an illustration where we have an unsorted list. And then we find the highest, which is the 802. And then we are going to sort this according to, place them according to, or sort them based on the least significant digit. So 170, then 90. Because 170 comes first, then 90. Okay, let's make it a little bit clear. So the first zero, and then next we see 90, and then we don't have any zero here, and then we see 2, want to come here, then two and then this two and then comes four and then first 45 will come then 75 then finally we have six depending on the first pass so in the second pass what will happen is you're going to consider on this sorted first sorted 
list you are going to perform based on the tens place digit. The resultant will be this sorting and then finally we have 100 digit sorting so it will be sorted considering the most significant digit. So we can see here your data is finally sorted. So your Dedic sort is a linear sorting algorithm. It is dependent on the least significant or the most significant digit comparison. Concept of bucket is there where you place the elements in the buckets by considering the digit positions and the number of passes that we have it is dependent on the size of or the number of digits in the largest number or in case of strings it will be the largest string the number of elements in the largest string here we have a basic implementation one way of implementing your uh, radix sort algorithm so for this algorithm we have designed to get the maximum of your array so we will first define an array the size of the array will be 5 so your n is 5 and this is the array that you have passed to the radix sort. It will go to your radix sort algorithm and it will from the radix sort you are passing the number of elements is 5 and the array that you are passing. This array and the element number of elements is passed to obtain the maximum. We move here in the maximum. First we define an integer which extract the position from the first element in the array and in this case it will be 543 it will be placed in mx and for starting from not from zeroth index starting from the first index it will compare if array of i 986 is greater than 543 so it will place it into mx so mx is now 986 because this is true and then next and then it will compare mx 983 986 if it is greater than next element in the array what is that that is 217 if it is greater than your mx which is 983 so which is not true so it will move again then 765 if it is greater than mx mx is not updated again mx will not be updated the next comparison will be done with 329 with i because we are iterating through the loop which is greater than mx not true so mx will not be updated and your function returns mx which is 986 so 986 is returned to get your max So find the max count that is your m which is 986 in this and then what you're going to do is this function count sort is an efficient sorting technique which is going to sort your data into the buckets or into the array into an array array positions so do counting sort for every digit note that instead of passing the digit number exp is passed which is 10 raised to power i where i is the current digit number so we start with one and then we have m which is 986 we first divide it by one of course which is greater than zero 
so we pass this to count out and in the next i will go to the count out later let's see how many times this will be executed so for 986 for the first time it will be divided by 1 and the next time we have exp which is multiplied by 10 so next time 986 is divided by 10 which is greater than 0 again it is okay and then 986 which is divided by it is incremented again multiplied by 10 exp so we divided by <clears throat> we have 10 then 100 and then 1000 and in the third pass one then 10 then 100 up to 100 it will be if it is greater than zero it will be okay let me make it a little bit clearer so the first time 986 will be divided by one then 986 because of this it will be multiplied by 100 divided by 10 then divided by 100 so up till then it will execute but when because it is greater than zero so this count sort will be executed but after the third one when we go to the fourth increment 986 divided by 1000 which is not greater than zero so our count sort will not be executed so count sort is going to run three times because the size the number of digits in the largest digit is three so our algorithm will run count sort will run 